Hi Aries, welcome to With Love Tarot. I am back with your love reading for June of 2020. So this is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind at the time you're watching this reading and somebody that you are already involved with or linked to in some way. So this can be somebody you're dating or it can be an ex. I pick up on a lot of different messages during these love readings. I will also be working on a new love or singles reading in just a few days as well. For those of you who will be purchasing the extended version of this reading, uh, which will be in the link down below in the description box, uh, just make sure that you are purchasing the one for the month you want. So for example, uh, if you want June, make sure that you're not purchasing March. I always put the month uh, right before the title in the link. Are you ready? So coming into your current energies, guys, we have the Knight of Wands, and this almost immediately popped out as I was shuffling. So right off the bat, I believe that this is more of your energy because this is fiery energy, or you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign. But guys, there is passion, there is attraction here between the both of you, regardless of what might be going on here, okay? Now this could also be a message too for some of you out there because this is a knight. Now the other cards that popped out with it is strength and the king of cups. So again, could be a fellow fire sign, in particular a Leo. But you know, the message that came through almost immediately is somebody could be holding back feelings in this connection for whatever reason, whether because there is a breakup or a break happening, but I got the feeling that with the Strength card and the King of Cups, somebody is either not putting all their cards out onto the table or they're a little bit guarded. And it could be because with the Knight of Wands, this is either a shaky connection or somebody was in and out of your life, okay? And the Knight of Wands for me is a positive card, but sometimes I get the feeling of a player, especially if there's some tricky energy here, okay? If that's not your story and you're not dealing with somebody who is in and out of your life, the other message coming through is simply, like I had originally said, that there is definitely passion and attraction in this connection and love as well. I see love regardless here, but again, I can't help but get the feeling of somebody could be a little bit guarded because with the King of Cups, this is somebody, man or woman, that doesn't always show their emotions. They have a lot of love to give. They're generally emotional too, but they contain them. As you can see, he is extending his cup, but his face is very stoic or emotionless, right? Now, you could be dealing with the water sign too. So for your person's actions toward you, we have King of Swords and Temperance. As I look at this spread, this really confirms the message and feeling I was getting here is that, yeah, look at this guy here. He's definitely holding back his feelings or he's coming across a little bit uh, stoic or stony faced, right? So this could be that your person is hard to read or they're just holding back for some reason. It could be a breakup here. And with the temperance card, they're also working on something. Your person could be working on uh, personal issues that they're going through. But the other message coming through here too is working on something with you. So if you are on shaky ground with this person, it's like your person is going within or even taking a time out and they are willing to work on this connection, work on issues with you. That's really the feeling coming through here, especially with Temperance card. Temperance is a really nice, positive energy. So even though your person could come across as a little bit emotionless, they have emotions and are trying to get something together, even could be trying to heal something going on in their life, and heal the connection with you as well. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, again, with the fire sign energy. So for how they see you, well, they see you as attractive and hot, <laughs> for sure. Look at all this too. So you are all over your reading, which is very cool. Yeah, they see you as attractive, guys. Uh, this is a man or woman. 
they also see you as a go-getter, ambitious, you are not afraid to speak your mind, you're very confident, at least this is how they see you, okay? This is my attraction card. So really, really nice card. If you're wondering if your person is attracted to you, if they think you're hot, yep, the answer is a yes, whether you are a man or a woman. But they also see you as intelligent too, and like I said, a go-getter, because the Queen of Wands is not just about looks, they are the total package. They see opportunities, they go after them, they even spark motivation within others too. So really, really nice card. So Four of Pentacles, they also see you as somebody who is holding back, okay? So you could be a little bit closed off with this person for whatever reason. And it's the theme that I'm picking up here, okay? So the both of you guys could be a little bit closed off to each other for some reason here, but they see you as somebody who maybe is guarded and keeps your cards to your vest or you don't put everything out on the table, you have a good poker face, right? Not a bad card, but perhaps not exactly 100% open with them around this time period. It could be because something happened, like I said. So I am going to clarify everything here to get more specific. Okay, wow. Have some repeating messages here. Okay, guys, so what popped out onto your current energies is the Hierophant. Now, this is one of the best cards that you can get in a spread like this for me because the Hierophant represents marriage, commitment, traditional values, right? So off the bat, for some of you out there, not all of you, you could be dealing with somebody that you either have a commitment with or you were committed with them in the past, okay? Uh, but whatever this is, for mutual energies, this is an important connection, okay? So the both of you guys are feeling this around this time period. It could be that you already are committed to this person. Like I said, you're either married to them, living with them, or you've just been involved with them for a long time. It's a really, really nice card. And I like that it's in your mutual energies because regardless of what's going on, if some of you are having issues with this person, it means that there is definitely uh, some type of commitment, bond, or the both of you recognizing each other as an important part of their life. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus. And regardless of the tricky energy that I was feeling, if this is a person that's been in and out of your life, it could be that the both of you are working on this connection or that's uh, where the both of you wanna take it, especially with the strength card. So this is having strength, courage, and perseverance, you know, seeing this connection through. So with the Wheel of Fortune on your person's actions toward you, interesting because I sometimes get the energy of waiting something out with the imagery here. This person is resting on the wheel or fate, if you will. And this card too can sometimes represent patience as well. So your person, guys, is in perhaps an inactive state, although they could be working on their issues or working on issues in general, they're also waiting on something here, okay? And the feeling I'm getting is they're waiting on the situation to change or even a turnaround of something. Because with this card, as you can see, there's seasons represented here. And I always get the feeling of uh, natural life cycles too. So this is about good luck generally, or luck turning in uh, someone's favor. But there's also with this card, a feeling of waiting on something. Your person could be waiting on their luck to change. Also, 
leaving something up to fate. So they're working on something here, maybe not taking a whole lot of action toward you around this time period, especially with the temperance card. And they're waiting on something at the same time, waiting on a difficult cycle to close in this relationship, especially if you've been dealing with some issues with this person and could generally be waiting on the right time to take action on it or reach out. It's that kind of energy here. I get the feeling of time because especially with the seasons here, we have the fall, the winter, the spring and the summer. Okay. So that's, that's the energy that your person is in around this time period. I also get the feeling that your person is trying to balance something out again, because I saw the six of pentacles here. And for me, that's like trying to balance out issues again with issues here, the temperance card. And guys, your person could also be working on something personally. Perhaps they're getting their money right or they're trying to just get something together in their own life uh, to offer you something more. That's really the energy coming through here. Coming into how your person uh, views you, we have the Five of Pentacles clarifying Queen of Wands and Four of Pentacles. And interesting because we do have the Four. Okay, so this is coming directly after it. Yeah, guys. For some of you out there, you're dealing with the person, like I said, where there could be some tricky energy or this connection is on break. Doesn't have to be forever. And they view you as somebody who could have blocked them because I sometimes get this card when somebody has blocked somebody in communication. Could be text messages or social media. Not for all of you, obviously, but that is what came through here, okay? And I asked for another card on this and we have the death card, okay? So, like I said, it could be because there was a breakup that happened for some of you guys. So they're literally seeing you as somebody who broke up with them or even put them on ice, okay? That's really the message coming through here and I know it's not everybody's story. So, I kept asking for more cards on this and it's regardless of what is happening here, with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands popped out again, by the way. So yeah, this is a repeating message that they are still very much attracted to you guys. I mean, they really view you as the total package, regardless of what's happening here, okay? Now with the Five of Pentacles and the Death card, this does not have to be something that happened recently. I could be picking up on some of this energy from the past. So the next cards we have here is how this person feels about you, what they want to say to you, but feel like they can't and the future energies of this relationship or connection. And I will be continuing this reading over at Vimeo. So I hope you join me there. Aries, I wish you a beautiful June. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time with love.